evening, friends. I have some chalice lighting words to start with tonight as we reflect on our seven principles. <clears throat> we light this chalice to remind ourselves to treat all people kindly because they are our siblings, to take good care of the earth because it is our home, to live lives full of goodness and love because that is how we will make our world the best place it can be. So, as many of you may know who are a part of the faith tradition of Unitarian Universalism, our first principle is all about the inherent worth and dignity of each person, or as we sing in Children's Chapel, when each person is important. And so I have a little bit of a story that I shared on Sunday to portray that message. Um, it's called The Weight of a Snowflake. It's from a book called A Lamp in Every Corner, Oops. which is compiled by someone named Janine K. Grosmeyer, but um, there's not an author listed on the story. I didn't see one anywhere online either, so I'm not sure who to pay credit to here, but let's get started. <clears throat> and this one doesn't have any pictures, just so everyone else. The Weight of a Snowflake. On a winter afternoon filled with blue shadows and white snow, a chickadee perched on the thin branch of a maple tree and watched the snowflakes fall. A bright red cardinal flew over and landed nearby. What you doing? chirped the cardinal. Watching snowflakes, said the chickadee. The cardinal cocked his head to one side. What for? Oh, they're so pretty and each one is different. I haven't seen two that look the same. A snowflake is a snowflake. That's what I say, said the cardinal, and they're cold. Me, I can't wait until spring. This winter stuff is for the mammals. They have fur on their toes. He lifted one foot and tucked it under his feathers. Us birds, all we got is scales. The chickadee nodded so that the little black cap on her head bobbed up and down, but she didn't say yes and she didn't say no. White snowflakes fell all around them and the blue shadows deepened to gray. The cardinal put his foot down and hopped sideways on the branch to get a little closer to her. What you doing now? he asked. Coming, snowflake, said the chickadee. The cardinal cocked his head to the other side. What on sky for? I was wondering how many snowflakes this branch would hold. Don't worry about it, that's what I say, said the cardinal. Snowflakes don't weigh anything. Not anything? Well, almost not anything. Snowflakes weigh next to nothing. They don't count for anything and they're all the same. He clacked his strong curved beak once, twice, and then again. You know what, little chickadee? You should find something else to do, that's what I say. The chickadee nodded so that the little black cop on her head bobbed up and down, but she didn't say yes and she didn't say no. After a minute, the cardinal clacked his beak once more, then flapped his strong red wings and flew away. The chickadee stayed where she was, perched on the thin branch in the maple tree and counting the snowflakes as they fell. White snowflakes fell all around her and the gray shadows slowly deepened to dusk. More snowflakes fell, each one different, each one beautiful. Some of them landed on the branch. Some of them landed on her. Snowflake after snowflake, each one weighing almost next to nothing, but each one counting for something. Because as the dusk deepened into darkness and the chickadee counted snowflake number 10,303, the branch broke from the weight of the snow. The chickadee fell with the branch, but only for a moment, for she flapped her wings and flew up into the snowflakes that fell from the sky each snowflake different, each snowflake beautiful, each snowflake counting for something in its own way. So just kind of a simple story to reflect on our principles and how it might feel like we ourselves don't make enormous changes in the world. Together we can. So I hope you all are having a great week and I will see you again next time. Bye.